Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Salko and today I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress on your Raspberry Pi server. So, first thing that you need to do is of course have a web server and a database server already installed. If you don't know how to do this, I have covered this in my previous tutorial, so I'm going to link it here so you guys can catch up. If you already have these things, then we can continue. Open up your terminal and navigate inside var www.html. This is our root website folder where we store our websites and Nginx knows about this folder. Inside here, we are going to download WordPress. Luckily, WordPress always stores their um, link for download at the same location. So using wget, we are going to download we are going to download WordPress using this link. If you don't have wget, you can install it using apt-get, so type apt-get install wget. Now, as you, as you saw, WordPress has been downloaded into a file called latest.zip, we need to unzip it. If you don't have the unzip program, type apt-get install unzip. I already have it, but I'm just showing you how you can install it. Now type unzip, latest.zip and WordPress should now be extracted into a folder called WordPress. Now, if you guys don't want your website to be like this, so for example, my domain is salcohd.com and if you guys don't want to have your WordPress website inside this folder, then you should rename this folder to something else. For example, if you want it to be blog, then you should rename WordPress to blog. If you want your website to be like this, without blog, just your domain name, then you should move all of the files from the WordPress folder, sorry, from the blog folder now that I have renamed it. So you have, you have to move all of the files inside this main folder. I'm not going to do this now, but this is the command. So if I press enter, everything would be moved here now. Anyway, this is almost everything. <coughs> sorry about that. Last thing I need to do is I need to give permissions to my web server to read and write inside the WordPress folder. So I'm going to do this, change ownership recursively, www data, www data, blog. So now my web server can read and write uh, to all files and folders inside this um, folder called blog. Okay, this is everything on the Raspberry Pi. Now let's move to my main PC. And we are back on my main PC. So from here, open a, open your browser and navigate to the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So my IP address is 10.69.69.62. And I'm going to open the blog subfolder, which I have just renamed, if you remember. Here, the installation for WordPress should start. I have to select the language. And then it's telling me you need the database name, database username, database password, and database host. So how do I get all these things? Well, using PHP my admin, I'm going to create a user and a database called WordPress. How to do this? Press users, select add user, type WordPress, uh, for the host type localhost, for the password I'm going to type test and then repeat it again just for the sake of this tutorial and I'm going to create a database with the same name and grant all privileges to this user which means the user and the database are going to be WordPress and the user WordPress will have all privileges to this database. Now I can close phpMyAdmin and continue with the installation. Database name WordPress, username again WordPress Password I set test, localhost is the database host and I can press submit. We're not going to change the table prefix. Installation should now begin. Okay, we are ready, run the install. So installation should now continue. Now I can give the site, site title. I'm gonna say my blog username. I'm gonna put, let's say WordPress user, whatever. You can choose your own username. 
I'm gonna copy, copy this password and I'm not gonna <coughs> put my email now. I could, oh, oh, okay, let me put my email, salkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoetsalkoets